Mixing the Star Wars Armada ISD Chimera. And ISD stands for Imperial Star Destroyer. So, I don't actually play Star Wars Armada yet. I've been thinking about getting into it a bit um, for a little while now. And I saw the Chimera on sale on Amazon. It was like $40. Um, and being a fan of Thrawn and his books, and, you know, this is sort of his ship, I decided to pick it up, even though I don't really have anything else. At the very least, I got a cool model of the Chimera. Um, unfortunately, Amazon kind of dinged up the box a bit in shipping, but that's not a huge problem. As long as the model itself and all the contents are safe, it's not the end of the world. But anyways, this will probably be a fairly quick video. Um, we're just going to do an unboxing and some ASMR along the way, like usual. There's actually not a ton in the way of information on the box. There's a kind of a blurb on the back. The, the enigmatic Grand Admiral Thrawn is a legend within the Imperial fleet. Where conventional methods have failed, Thrawn's strategic brilliance has brought success. Commanding the crack, seven custom flagship Chimera, Thrawn studies his opponents intimately to exploit their weaknesses. Thrawn uses every resource to his advantage, adopting new technology and passing unlikely allies into service to outwit the rebellion and destroy its leaders. This pack includes everything you need to add one Chimera and two Mandalorian squadrons, two Mandalorian squadrons to your game. Let's uh let's get this open. See what's inside.
here's the Chimera. I think the skull plug is pretty good. Here's where the, I don't know, this can focus on the, here's where the bridge is. like some pretty good detail and all the creeplies and whatnot and the turbo laser batteries so I think it looks pretty good I think my my only real I don't want to say complaint because I don't think it looks bad is the uh, the lines might be a little bit too over weathered the lines like in the actual movies and shows are a little bit more subtle but not like a huge problem I still think the model looks quite good um, and you know Thrawn's like signature design looks pretty sweet on the top and bottom there's the, the hangar bay and then it looks like this is just where you mount it mounted on its stand. are actually unpainted so you can paint those up if you want or you can leave them as is and unfortunately they're not to scale um, you know this thing would probably be pretty tiny compared to a Star Destroyer Star Destroyers I think are like one or two kilometers long um, so like it when things are to scale so kind of a bummer but I guess this would be a little dot so it's not really practical unlike a, a tabletop game so I definitely don't blame them for not making it to scale but anyways here's all the stuff related to the game itself similar yeah like to see how here's Grand Admiral Thrawn and he has like sort of special abilities um, and it looks like this is his legends appearance not the canon appearance so Captain Brunson Price.
sex in, in the Mandalorian Gauntlet fighter. Like I said, I haven't actually played Armada yet, so I'm sure those of you who do play know exactly what you're looking at, but um, these are, I'm sure, stat cards for the ships to determine how they act in combat move them, how they defend against attacks, how they attack with themselves. So, much bigger than the Legion Guard, so that's kind of cool. They're like double, well, they're like double-sized guards, so it's pretty cool. I'm excited to learn how to play. And then these are kind of the like you pop this guy so then um, it sort of st sits under the Star Destroyer and I'm assuming these lines are for firing arcs for your various ship weapons and then you can swap out Seems pretty cool. I'm excited to learn how to play. Um, but I hope you guys don't mind the uh, the shorter video today. I just thought maybe you'd enjoy seeing this uh, this unboxing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.